Hello everyone. Welcome to this GATE 2020 statistics exam. Today we will discuss about how you can solve this question number 51 in a very simple and the efficient manner. So this was the question which was asked in the GATE 2020 statistics exam. So if you closely look about this question number 51, what you conclude that this is nothing but my triple integration. So what, what first thing come in your mind whenever you are thinking about this triple integration. Can you think about that? So the first thing which come in, in our mind is about the triple integration is Dirichlet theorem. There are so many ways you can solve this question. One way is that it's very lengthy. What you can do is you can integrate this over this domain that is from z that is 1 minus x minus y. The limit of the y is from this and then 0 to 1 over this x plus y of dx dy dz. But since it is a MCQ question, which is a competition exam, you can't try to solve this by here because it will consume a lot of the steps and then you may take more than one minute to solve. So now whenever you are in the triple integration, you are thinking about this Dirichlet theorem. What is the Dirichlet theorem is that this is that whenever there is a triple integration over the domain, there is a major requirement is there. The sum of them must be less than one. It is given to you now. Here you can see this is the product of them x, y, z but here is a sum. How you can convert this sum into this product form so that you can apply this. That's very simple. I can write, can I write this here like of this dx dy dz plus of this. Now you can see that's a very simple. Now I can write this the first part of x. I can write this as of 1 minus 1 y raised to power 1 minus 1 that's a 0 z is 0. Similarly for this second part. Now here you can write as 1 minus 1 y of 2 minus 1. Sorry, here is my 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is my 1 and z is my 1 minus 1. Now you can apply this formula. What is the result for that? This is gamma function of the 2, gamma function of 1, gamma function of 1 divided by L plus M plus N, whatever here, plus 1. That is my gamma function of 5. Same for here, gamma function of the 1 gamma of 2 gamma of 1 upon gamma of 5. So can you solve that? What is the gamma function of the 2 is? That is a 1 factorial. Gamma function of 5 is nothing but my 1 fa 4 factorial. This is same again. So what is the 1, 1 upon 4 factorial? 1 upon 4 factorial is nothing but my 24 plus 1 by 24. So what is the answer is 1 by 12. So if you multiply this by it is 4, what is the required answer is 7 is my required answer. So you can see that so with the help of the, this Dirichlet theorem, you can simplify this integration in a very simple manner instead of solving this in a time consuming step. So remember always whenever you are in the competition, you have to think about its conceptual. So this is a rule you can apply them. You have to convert this into this product. So I hope you can enjoy this session too. If you have any query, you can ask me till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various previous videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.